For some of us, this event is bigger than the season change that we're going to see tomorrow. Of course, we're talking about March Madness and going dancing this year, the Colgate men's basketball team. Sports director Lucas Frankel joins us with a closer look at one key player. Good evening, Lucas. Angie, it's been over two decades since Colgate men's basketball has had a season like this. Their success coincides with the rise of Rapalus Ivanowskis, and he has quite the story to tell. Ivanowskis oh, it. What a fake on oh, Rapolis Ivanowskis was one of the country's top recruits in the class of 2016. He received a scholarship to play at Northwestern, but shoulder injuries derailed his tenure with the Wildcats. I had started feeling like I'm not supposed to be playing basketball. Like I just had surgery and then I re-injured it like right away. Like what am I, what's, what's my purpose, you know? Through rehabilitation and family support, he stuck with it. I just felt like my calling was still to play basketball and just to work even harder to, to get healthy. Ivanowskis then decided to transfer. It was definitely a very hard decision. Um, but at the end of the day, it felt like after my two shoulder surgeries, it felt like it was the best decision for me just to find a, a better fit for me basketball-wise and to get a fresh start, I'd say. He chose to come to Colgate, due in large part to head coach Matt Langle's plan. Basically just letting me play with freedom and letting me play in a way that I really haven't played before. Um, he supported me, he cared for me, and he, uh, he really showed me how great of a coach he was just on my visit. Langle was more than willing to welcome Ivanowskis to the Raiders family. You're excited because you know um, uh, of his talents, of his athletic abilities, of his size. Um, but there were some unknowns too. Before he got here, he hadn't been able to play for two full seasons. Getting over his injury history was a struggle. I literally would, did not want to use my, le my left arm. I had coaches back in Chicago where I'm from, just four set enemies, like you're going to use your left hand all day today. Just overcoming that mental barrier because, I mean, my shoulder surgery went really well. Those barriers followed him to Colgate. Beautiful move, Raffalus Adamowskis. There are times where my shoulder would be in pain. I would just have to fight through it because I know it's just something I have to go through. And then eventually as I break, break through those mental barriers, I feel like I can use both arms effectively now. After transferring, Rapolis didn't know he would even be allowed to play until hours before the first game of the season. It was literally, the game was at 6 and I got a call at like 12.30, like right before we had film. He immediately called his parents. There's some amount of stress that we've gotten, we went through the past couple months with that because it went from me making a waiver denied and appeal denied and all these things denied and then all of a sudden just the day before the day of the game it just gets accepted and me and my parents have been through so much and we just we all just started being so happy on the phone and it was a great great moment. The door was now open for him to win Patriot League Player of the Year helped the Raiders set a new program record for wins and lead them to their first NCAA tournament since 1996. Outcomes Ivanowskis never could have imagined. I would have told you you're crazy. I was just grateful to play and then I realized, man, I'm playing well. And, I mean, I do have a shot at being a good player here. I do have a shot of, 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 you know, kind of leaving a legacy here with this team. He still has a lot of room to grow. You know, you're talking about a guy while he is in his third year of college, you know, it's really his first season, having a full season where he's out there competing every day. So uh, in many ways, his game is, is young and, and, and he can continue to get, get lots better. And maybe even pursue a career playing professional basketball. That's a question I'll ask myself when, when the time comes. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week or or anything so but I would love to I really would love to that is my dream since I've been a little little kid so but just one step at a time. Ivanowskis and Colgate will look to shock the world in the NCAA tournament.